na kuna hii shamba ya tatu ambayo tunajua kama membli sababu that is the traditional name that we used to know it ambayo tumeona wale ambao sasa wana privatize hiyo shamba wameongea publicly maneno ambayo imehusu, inahusu hawa na kwa sababu wao dio the original owners of that land wako na haki ya kuongea katika katiba yetu ya Kenya kwanza kabisa nataka kusema hapa kuna 9000 people from Gidhongori ambao wanahuzishwa na hiyo shamba ya tatu. 9000 is that true? Yeah. Yeah. true true na these are the traditional owners of that land ambao mababu zao walikuwa wamiliki wa hiyo shamba wakati wa mkoloni mnajua what happened na shamba ikanyakuliwa ikaenda katika mikono ambayo sasa inatuongelesha vile wanatuongelesha I have followed that parcel of land about 5000 acres belong to the people of Gidhongori we have a very very active case that is under the investigation of national land commission ambao walikuwa wametutembelea hapa amanda go hapa Gidhongori na wana, wakakutana na hawa watu wote na file yao iko active and opened for investigation following what we call the historical, historical land injustice. Unasikia wanajua? Historical land injustice ya shamba ya tatu the file is active with the National Land Commission the department that deal with the historical injustices. Professor ambaye amesimamia hiyo commission na commissioners wake watatu walikuwa hapa a month ago na hawa wanataka warudishiwe ama walipwe 5000 acres ya hiyo shamba ambayo ni 15000 acres we are insisting on behalf of these people that that must be done because that is the spirit of the Kenyan constitution mm. lakini tunajua kuna watu ambao wanataka kunyakua hiyo shamba na wanatumia mzungu ili wapate kile wanataka kutoa kuto kwa hiyo shamba First of all I want to condemn huyo managing director wa Tatu City ambaye aliongea maneno aliongea kwa television. Nimwambie We respect you as an investor but you also have to respect us as people of Kiambu and people of Kidunguri. True. True. Reason being hiyo shamba ambaye umenunua na pesa yako unataka ku develop uuzie watu wakuja waishi hapo Tatu 24000 houses that you are building and the many investment you have put there for creating jobs is welcome but we must also ask ourselves are you doing that within the legal framework are you upholding the rule of law are you following the rights enshrined in the Kenyan constitution huyo mzungu ambaye aliongea alisema governor wa matangi amemwandikia barua akasema governor anataka apewe land ya county ya Kiambu. Mimi sikusikia hiyo barua na niliona hiyo barua. Sioni pahali governor alisema apewe land ya dikwe jina yake. Sikuona barua inasema huyu CEC wa land ameandika barua akasema nipatieni barua ma, land ya dikwe jina yake ama ya bwana yake. Barua ilikuwa ya county government of Kiambu which belongs to us. Yes. Ikiitisha land ya kujenga police station, kujenga hospitali kujenga socio amenity hall na kujenga soko na kujenga kanisa na kuendeleza mashule what we call public utilities mzungu alisema hiyo private land ni private na governor hana haki ya kuitisha public amenities facility mimi nilikuwa nimeteta kuhusu mpango wa kunyang'anya gewe primary school land na hao wazungu na si kuteta mwaka huu niliteta last year na nikaandika hii barua hii barua niliandikia watu watatu na niliandika last year 2023 tarehe 5 mwezi wa June na niko na hiyo barua nitawapatia na nilikuwa nimeuliza hawa wazungu niko na objection my letter read objection on changes on tattoo stroke roiro lr number 2888671 and LR number 31327 hizi ni block za shule ambazo from the original map ya tatu seti ile seti ya kwanza ilichorwa wakati kabogo governor alikuwa governor i saw that original map yenye ilikuwa na proposal ya kujenga tatu seti 
That was in the year 2014, 2015. Muna nielewa? Hiyo proposal ilikuwa imesema tatu primary school ipewe 20 acres. Gewe primary school ijengwe tu pahali iko, isihamishwe, ikae pahali iko, na ipatiwe 20 acres of land. Kulingana na ile map saa hii, huyu mzungu anataka wa matangi approve, imebadilishwa. There is a proposal to move Gewe Primary School from where it is to another location. There is a proposal to reduce the acreage allocation from 20 acres to 3 acres. Who gave them the opportunity or the authority to reduce the acreage of land? Did they involve these people? No. no. Did they call for public participation? No, no, no. Have they called me as a member of parliament for Gedongori and member of parliament for Roiro? No. Na MCS wetu? No. Ili tujadiliane ya kwamba Gewe Primary School inafai hamishwe? No. Gewe Primary School is not patatu sete asset. Gewe Primary School, Tatu Primary School, Oakland Primary School, and BTL Primary School. All those are public school. And if they are private, Huyo mzungu atuambie kama ni private na ulisema unawapati yanga lunch kwa sababu ni private. Hizo nyumba ziko hapo ndani ni wewe ulijenga of 5000 acres of land that belong to these people's grandparents and they must be paid because that's the law. I need to alert Kenyans that there is a, a lot of conflicting information coming from Tatu City. Tatu City is claiming they are private. It is okay you are private and we are happy that you are private. We are happy that you are coming to employ so many of our people. But please listen. You cannot claim to be private, but you want us to use our own tax money to construct for you roads in the estate, in the, in the, in the city. As we speak right now, I am on record protesting that you are allocated 63 million shillings last financial year to tarmac one of the roads that is crisscrossing Tatu City. 63 million shillings is the amount of money that I should have been given to develop Gedongori. Sure. And when I asked about that money, nikaambiwa, hiyo barabara ambayo gathoni inajengwa huko Tatu City, inaguza constituency yako, saidi za ngewa. Barabara ya kutoka roiro, ngewa. Nikaambiwa, sisi tunajua hiyo barabara ikijengwa, hiyo allocation ya 63 million, it is part of the allocation of Gidunguri constituents. Is that fair? No, yeah. not fair. It is not, not, fair. Fair, not, not fair. fair. You cannot purport to be doing a road in a private establishment, lakini unatumia pesa yetu ya tax. Kwa hivyo, kama huyu mzungu hataki kutupatia land ya kujenga uh, public amenities, utaki tujenge shule, utaki tujenge market, utaki tujenge police station, utaki tujenge uh, uh, nyumba za wale ambao watawakua wanafanya kazi ya, ya kuosha na, ku, na ma watchmen basi rudisha pesa ile tulikupatia ya kutamak barabara hiyo iko ndani ya tatu city. Sio ni haki? Sio ni haki. Haki. Ya mwisho.